can tell you is that the incident emanated from a pursuit where a motor vehicle with men armed with guns were involved in a robbery along Spanish Town Road in the St. Andrew's South Division. The information was circulated by the police radio network. The officers who were on patrol within the Denham Town community actually spotted this particular vehicle. They went, went in pursuit of the vehicle, during which time men from the vehicle alighted, opened gunfire at the police, and the police returned the fire. After the shooting subsided, one man was found with what appeared to be gunshot injuries. The motor car which was involved in the robbery as also the items which were stolen from the premises in that robbery over in St. Andrew's South were recovered at the scene as well. Where in St. Andrew's South? The incident, based on my information, occurred somewhere along the Spanish Town Road area. Sir, the, the, the residents were deliberate that it was a uh, deliberate shooting. They say the man held up his hand to say that he had no guns, he was on his phone playing games. He was merely trying to save his nieces from any potential gunshot. How do you respond to that? All right, I will not comment on what the residents are saying at this time, except to say that we realize that they are disputing the account of our police officers. We have since engaged the services of Indicom and they are here doing their investigations and we are cooperating fully with them. I would want to urge the residents who may have witnessed something just to speak with Indicom so that we can have a thorough investigation and identify what exactly may have transpired with this particular incident. Mr. Phipps, was there any weapons retrieved from the man who was fatally shot? No, no firearm was recovered at the scene of the incident, but the items which were stolen from the place of the robbery, those items and the motor vehicle were recovered at the scene. We know that the deceased has been identified as Nicholas Miller, otherwise called Miller. He was charged some time ago and is in fact reporting on condition of bail at the Denham Town Police Station. He is one of those persons who is under what we refer to as a curfew order. So oftentimes we will have to visit his place of abode to ensure that he stays within the confines of his home based on the instruction and order of the court as a part of the condition of his day. What was he charged with? He was charged with murder. Is he a troublemaker in the community, sir? Well, I wouldn't want to speak to his character except to say that he was charged with an offence of murder by the Kingston Western Police and that matter is before the court. So I wouldn't want to comment further on it. Mr. Phipps, can you speak to some of the items that were said to be stolen and retrieved? Right. I do know that two gaming box were recovered at the scene of the incident. As also the motor car which was used in the robbery in which the gunmen traveled really. Do you know the motor car belongs to? Well we have some information and we are checking that information to verify ownership of the motor vehicle. What, what about the men who have um, who the police? We're, we're, we're we have some information and we are working on those information, but we would not want to go ahead of Indicom to share that information. We allow Indicom to do the investigations, but we do know that a number of names are being called and we are pursuing those persons, of course, with the support of Indicom. How many of them were traveling in the motor vehicle? The information is suggesting that four persons were aboard, aboard this motor car. And Miller was assumed to be one of them? Well, the information, as I said, is that the officers are alleging that Miller was part of the group that went to the premises to conduct, carry out that particular robbery. And he was the person who actually ran from the front passenger vehicle of that motor car. But as I said, these are information which is being disputed by the community. So we'll just allow Indicom to do their investigations and determine the accuracy of that information. We don't have nobody with that. We're not going to go in, man. We need justice. We need that money camera roll for the policeman rolling and killing. Easy. 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 Easy.
To my understanding is that um, I was on the road and heard that they killed someone, right? And I reached and heard that they is Miller, right? I was wondering and then when I go down the road they said that he was playing games with four kids, right? And police were chasing um, a car, right? And as soon as they, the car came up and so forth, yes, the, man, the guys them who them chase jump out of the car, right? And fled through the board villa. And they run through the board villa, and to my understanding, they come around and start for a shot. So he was sitting with four kids playing game on his phone, right? And so forth. And they kill him and say they find gun for him. This man wake up them and say they find gun for him. So I understand? And to my understanding, that guy is not a gunman, he's not involved in anything. You understand? A couple of days ago, he came to me and, and said that he wanted a recommendation to come out a different work, right? To go out, out and work and the delivery, right? And he told me that he wanted to go look at work because he know that we are not rap and we are not see. You understand what I'm mean? saying? We don't try to hurt nobody and just out the one go with us earn, and earn a living and so forth. I've been doing for years, over 20 years I've been doing and so forth and me and the environment are bad and so forth so that's what I, uh, that's what I all have to say but um that's why the resident is black in the all over all over the black